Hello and welcome to another Destiny 2 video. This is Expider Virus and just wanted to drop a really quick update video on what is happening on Destiny next week. So without further ado, let's dive into it. With Bungie updates this week, there are some exciting official news came up. The Sources of Heroes, starting next week on 11th of August. So, what is Sources of Heroes? Basically, it is a celebration for all the Guardians throughout the whole year and what we have achieved in that time. This whole celebration starts by doing certain objectives. By doing so, you will gain a green set of gear and from there you will have to do some more objectives to upgrade it to blue and then Majestic Legendary set of gear. And this time around we have one more upgrade which is the Magnificent Armor which again you will gain by completing certain objectives even after this event finishes. Moving on to Eva Levante, our main vendor for this event accompanied by the Statue of Heroes. We'll be back in tower this time we'll find her around the Statue of Heroes. We will be able to interact with her and the statue to get various different quest steps and upgrades. Next up we'll have a new destination for all the new players or returning destination which is the European Aerial Zone where you will be able to go directly to this activity through the matchmaking. You will have time limit and in that time you will have to kill as many bosses as you could to increase the chance to get more rewards at the end of the activity. Now when we go into these activities, each day of this event it will be featured with a different element, Arc, Void and Solo. So we will have to prepare ourselves matching to those elements to make sure we can do enough damage and so on. So each day there will be a different strategy to think about when going to this event. Now apparently this is a great way to increase your power level. It does mention raise your power level by earning Sorcerer's Key Fragment and unlocking packages containing powerful and new armors upgrade. As well we can unlock the Sorcerer's of Heroes music by completing the Sorcerer's Begin quest. So everyone that finishes that quest will be able to get the music from the Bungie reward. Now the interesting part, every verse will have some ornaments that we can equip, which will make the generic white glow from the maxed out armor into a color of whichever subclass you're using. Now in addition to all this information, Bungie has given us some more information as the final upgrade steps. So when we have the green armor, and we upgrade it all the way to the Majestic Legendary Armor. So when we have the full set of Legendary Armors, you can upgrade the set into a Magnificent Armor. Just by completing Nightfall on Master Difficulty, Nightmare Hunt, Pit of Hersey, win 7 Trials or complete a Tier 5 Altar of Sorrow. Now each of the tasks is bind into each of the armor set. For example, if you just want to upgrade your helmet, just do the nightfall and so on. Now moving on to Eververse again. When you have unlocked all the Majestic Legendary set of armor pieces, you will unlock the option to buy universal ornaments from the Eververse. For either Bright Dust or Silver, and that ornaments will then glow into whatever subclass you will be using. Not like last year that you will have to buy all the different colors individually. And last of all, you can upgrade this armor to Magnificent Armor through our event after this event finish. So you can keep using this armor on the next upcoming DLC and use the Stasis Glow to it as well. So that's all the information I have for you guys for today. Hope you are all excited for next Tuesday. Until then, take care of yourself and thank you.